Hello Operators, this is Julian, OH8STN from the YouTube channel Survival Tech Nord. Since about May 2018 you've seen a lot of Raspberry Pi for Ham Radio videos on the channel and on the blog. We've demonstrated digital off-grid communications with Ham Radio and a Raspberry Pi. We've demonstrated integrating a GPS and a real-time clock into the Raspberry Pi. And we've even demonstrated taking a Raspberry Pi off-grid and into the field. But from a digital communications perspective, we have something entirely new to show you. So stick with me a while, and I'll tell you all about it. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign narrative. Digital communications with your Raspberry Pi and your favorite ham radio rig isn't anything new. After all, the Raspberry Pi is just a computer, albeit a small one, and we're using it to run apps like WSJTX for Whisper and FT8, uh, JS8 Call, and of course FL Digi for other digital modes. Now one problem we have when we want to use the Raspberry Pi for digital communications and ham radio off-grid and away from the internet is the amount of components we need to make it all work together. Naturally, we start off with the Raspberry Pi because, well, that's our computer. Now we also need an audio interface or a USB sound card to handle the audio between the Raspberry Pi and our rig. This isn't really a big deal if you're in a shack, but if you're off-grid and in the field, it adds certain layers of complexity and components to our gear. And don't even get me started on the cable mess we're talking about. Now, if we were only talking about the two cables going into the rig, that wouldn't really be a big deal. So we've got cables coming out of the Raspberry Pi to the audio interface, the audio interface to the radio, the cat control on the radio to the Raspberry Pi, and it's all pretty overwhelming. And if we want to take everything off-grid into the field, away from the internet, we're going to need that GPS to manage the clock. Now, we already know we can make this work. You've seen it on the channel at least five times already. So, from a field radio or emergency communications perspective, my station configuration is unnecessarily complex. So what if we could reduce the cable mess and the complexity? To be honest, I think at this point I'd do just about anything to simplify the complexity of my station in the field. And I have a feeling Northwest Digital Radio is going to help us do that with the Draws hat. Now to be completely honest, when I first saw the Draws hat, I thought, wow, somebody's been watching my videos. Much of what we've tried to achieve with the Raspberry Pi for Ham Radio series is what they've achieved with this Draws hat for the Raspberry Pi. So I don't have this in my hands yet, but I believe what Northwest Digital Radio has done is integrated all of those components for our Raspberry Pi for Ham Radio series into a single integrated solution. Let's take a look at the Draws hat with digital off-grid field communications, emergency communications and preparedness, and interoperability in mind. So the Draws hat has a built-in audio codec. This means we can get rid of the external audio interface and the USB connections that go along with it. The Draws hat also has an internal GPS with PPS support. So we no longer need an external GPS or the internet to sync the Raspberry Pi clock. And if for some reason that GPS fails, the Draws hat also has a built-in real-time clock with battery backup. One feature I've missed with the USB U-Blocks GPS is the external antenna connector. But the Draws includes one and it's enabled for an active GPS antenna. The Draws hat also has a 12 volt DC input to power itself and the Raspberry Pi, and that's a wide voltage input. The Draws hat also has two radio ports. Now I'm speculating, but I believe the two radio ports can be used in an HF VHF configuration or using the Draws hat as a duplex repeater system. And finally, making it easier to get started with this Raspberry Pi hat for ham radio, the Draws hat includes an image for your Raspberry Pi, including some popular ham radio software packages and the hardware already pre-configured. 
But don't worry, if you want to run the Draws hat on your own images, you can do so by installing a few libraries. As always, the episode notes are in the description. So, for those of you supporting the channel and what I do with PayPal or Patreon, thank you. I absolutely couldn't do it without you. For the rest of you, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, consider leaving me a thumbs up and a comment to let me know and sharing this video with someone or someplace where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. You are all absolutely magnificent. Ciao.